what's going on everybody my name is Steven you guys are watching the Fowler Airgun channel and boy have I got some information to give you all on the Snow Peak M60B this is the 357 caliber 9 millimeter caliber air gun and uh, I've done a little bit of work to it so I uh, got this and initially one of the biggest snacks I have about this air gun was that in order to fill this gun you have to remove this bottle every time and it comes with this very unique fill adapter here that you would then screw into the end of the bottle here uh, via this little adapter here in the front and you would fill it up uh, however since then I've gotten rid of that because uh, this just uh, it's really bad on the threading constant unscrewing and screwing and it's just a headache you know I, I imagine if you had several of these adapters with these tanks it may be convenient to carry around multiple tanks with you if that's what you prefer to do however I prefer to carry my large tank if I need to and just bulk fill right off of that so I've uh, solved that issue and uh, as well, I want to tell you guys that uh, in all of my past videos, I was doing any accuracy with this thing whatsoever, just uh, X that. Just forget about it because I actually found out that I made a very novice mistake and I had never tightened down my rings. And I went to go working on this thing and I was just like, what in the world? This thing was just, I mean, you, you have no idea. It was, it was just completely inaccurate. So uh, we're going we're gonna to just say, forget all the accuracy, anything you've seen come out of this air gun up until right now. And that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna show you right now what I've done here and I did post up a little picture on uh, kind of just the beginning stages of doing this but you'll see right here what I've done is I've added just on this back side here on opposite side of the manometer there you'll see I've added my bulk fill right there to be a 1 8 quick disconnect I'm gonna be able to hook my tank up to it my hose my compressor whatever I feel I need that way I don't have to keep taking this bottle off so uh, yeah, that turned out really great. No leaks or anything. I've uh, you know done a leak down test on it. Everything works fantastic. It's holding air good. Uh, I can you know thread this out if I need to replace this. No issue. So the machining, everything turned out really nice. Have to remove the bottle and the entire adapter and everything in order to fill it. So you can never really get right up to that full very top of that gauge. But we can now because of course, like I said, now we can just fill from right there. So uh, get this completely topped off and everything. Again, no loose scope here. So we're good on the scope and what I want to do today is I just want to shoot out 65 yards today it's all ready from the factory no tune I haven't touched the regulator I haven't adjusted the hammer or anything on this whatsoever so we're still straight from the factory tune uh, you know it's over a hundred foot-pounds of energy so pretty much more than they were already the manufacturer was uh, calling for also another thing that I want to point out is because now I can fill this gun up quite a bit more uh, the regulator actually now it's going to it's going to bump us up at the very very top of regulator so with that being in mind we're gonna be shooting out of the regulator you know for the first few shots I'm sure they're gonna be ridiculously high there's no telling uh, I did just crack one shot off of this and it was uh, 700 feet per second on the very top end so for all I know it could be trying to really just do its best and hold in that reg area but it, like I said we're just going to be shooting it from a very max fill this is going to be a video focusing on just from the factory, the tune, everything that they've sent me. Now with the scope tightened on correctly and as well our adapter here so we don't have to keep going back and forth. We can just fill everything right here where our table. I'll bring my bottle and everything out and I'll be able to handle that, you know, right here. So, again, no more uh, adapter here. We got rid of this and uh, this just works out perfectly well. So, let me get this topped up. Got the chronograph today. 65 yards. Let's get right to it. All right, everybody, check this out. So, I just went and aired this back up. Hopefully, you all can see that there. I'm not sure if that's going to focus from that up close. Let's see. I got it as very, very, very to the, filled up to the very top as close as possible without, you know, being too crazy with it. And that does, like I said, just barely push our reg up into that red just a little bit. So, there is a lot of pressure in that reg. Uh, it is, it's squeezed tight for what it can do. And uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I have the chronograph set up. I got the GoPro rolling down range. Hopefully it don't get blown over because it is 25 degrees outside and it is extraordinarily windy, it's cold. Hey, as a matter of fact, uh, on that note, do me a favor and hit subscribe. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff because uh, I'm out here in the cold doing this. I'd be doing it with or without you all here watching. However, you know, it does help for other folks that may wanna see this stuff. So if you wanna do me a favor and subscribe to it, that'd be super awesome. All right, so again, got this thing filled all the way up. No more adapter here. Got the chronograph. We're going to be shooting these Snow Peak branded pellets here. They're just a traditional style pellet, 80.87 grains here. Got the magazine loaded up here. 
and uh, yeah, let's get right onto it. Again, no adjustments whatsoever to the hammer spring or any other parts. Uh, this is all right from the factory how it would come or how it has came to be. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try to send them out. So 65 yards, some small adjustments here. Hopefully I don't shoot my chronograph. All right, here we go, first shot. 730, and that flew pretty high, 721, 727, 720, 715, not too bad here. Again, we're in a big bore air gun here. 717, so uh, you know, this isn't a small caliber. Pushing the projectile 715, pushing a projectile this large at uh, this distance is uh, it's gonna be producing a lot of power and it's gonna be making a lot of drop as well. 717. It's being very consistent here at the top end. 715. Again, I have done absolutely no tuning. Another 715. That's a 712. 713. Let's keep at it. 65 yards, still the same point of aim here and everything, and I am just going to keep sending them down and see what happens. There's a 707. We may be getting ready to drop down a little bit here. 694. 681. I dropped down a good little bit. Shooting them, see what happens. 668. Again, using the same point of aim. 659. 659. Oh, we're starting to see a drop in the group out there at 654, which, I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't. It's still a consistent group. 646. Ooh, that one dropped way down. Okay, 634. So, 634. That group has dropped tremendously out there. We have uh, three pellets left there out of that second magazine. 21 shots there. And, uh, if my math is correct. And, uh, that's... That's a pretty respectable group. That's 65 yards we're shooting at down there. And uh, 634 in a chronograph. Let me check my camera make sure that we got everything in. And uh, try to show you this here. So you can see that number there for you. If it'll focus up for me. There it is. So 634. And again, we were shooting all the way out there. 65 yards. You can see the group from here even. Let's go take a look at it. All right, yeah, so I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with this, so, and I know this isn't, you know, some extreme accuracy, but I, I want to make some points here, okay? First of all, we're talking about a 35 caliber pellet at 65 yards away from somewhere, okay? And it's making a group like this. I mean, even if we were really, I mean, this was our very last shot at 634 feet per second, so obviously we're not going to even worry about that guy because this is just finding out where everything's going. But if you really look at some of these dimples that are in here on these shots here, I mean, we're, we're still no more than a, you know, that could be three and a half inches there. So three and a half inch at 65 yards, uh, but 35 caliber, this is going to be really great for some of the coyotes that have been around the property, some of the raccoons and things that would just be much easier to dispatch if I'm shooting them with something larger. Uh, this isn't going to be the projectile we're going to use. We're going to even use something larger. I'm going to tune this air gun. I'm going to really work this thing out. We're going to see a much tighter group than this, I could guarantee you. It may not be over such a large amount of shots, uh, but I guarantee you that the groups that I will be able to make 
will be much tighter than that. And you know, again, this is, what was it, what did we say? It was like 21 shots, okay? 21 shots right here. I mean, that's a lot of pellets in one little group here uh, from 65 yards. So again, before I go on any further with that, I just wanted to show you all that because again, I think that's pretty cool. All right, so that's just one I wanted to come show you all today. Nothing else, don't want to do anything too crazy other than that. It's 25 degrees, this thing is performing, and in my opinion, I think it's performing great. Again, we're talking big bore shooting in a compact uh, setup here that is delivering quite the payload and uh, is really enjoyable to shoot too. Honestly, it's been great. Uh, so with that being said, I hope you all enjoy the video, hearing me yak for a little bit and uh, come and shoot around. Uh, if you're looking forward to seeing anything else with this air gun, there's going to be quite a bit more videos. I'm going to bore you to death with it because what I plan to do is I plan to tune this thing. I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it as flat as I can possibly get. Honestly, with my preference, with probably a lot of power, and uh, I'm not really too worried about. If I can get one magazine, I can get one magazine out of this thing. I believe I'll be able to get these up into the 850 feet per second range, possibly shooting consistently, or at least right there, 800. 30, 840 feet per second. Uh, probably get them as flat as I can over a magazine, but I'll be happy with that. And uh, you guys are going to see me shoot all kinds of cool stuff with this, uh, whether it be some, you know, game hunting or whether it be just plinking around the yard, you know, blowing up some different vegetables and all kinds of other fun targets. So if you like that kind of stuff, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe so the folks can see it. And as always, I'll see y'all on the next one.